Hey guys, welcome back. So today we are going to solve the simple question paper of class 8 social science. Um, there are some instructions that there are 28 general questions and there all questions are compulsory. So let's start the questions. Before I start the questions, I would like to tell you that I am not going to read all the um, uh, options for the top 10 MCQs. Uh, I am only going to read the correct answers. So uh, as all the uh, options are not seen in your exam, so you just need to know the correct answer. Now let's start with question number 1. Question number 1 is, Bandana patterns were mostly produced in, the correct answer is A, Rajasthan and Gujarat. Bandana patterns were mostly produced in Rajasthan and Gujarat. Next question is, question number 2, what type of school did Tagore want to set up? The correct answer is all of the above as he wanted to set up the um, uh, school which was, where the child was happy and where she could, he or she could fair in creativity and he was able to explore her own thoughts and desires. So the correct answer is all of the above. He wanted school to be um, Considering all, all of these options. Next question is, who started school for Muslim girl in Patna and Calcutta? The correct answer is, Begum, Rukaya, Sakhawat, Hussain. Next question is, question number 4. Marathi newspaper Kesari was edited by, the correct answer is, Bal Gangada Tilak. He edited the Marathi newspaper Kesari. The next question is, question number 5. The United Nations was formed in 1945. It was formed in 1945. Question number 6 is, basket weaving falls in the category of cottage industry. It falls in the co uh, category of cottage industry. Next question is, question number 7. Movement of people in and out of an area is called migration. Next question is, question number 8. Article 21 of the constitution guarantees right to life. It guarantees the right to life. Question number 9 is, which is the article constitution that states that untouchability has been abolished? The correct answer is article 17. It states that untouchability has been abolished. Next question is, question number 10. Who carries the responsibility of providing public facility to the uh, people? The correct answer is government. It uh, governs towards the facility of, um, responsibility of providing public facility. The next question is, now it's, this is not an MCQ, this is the uh, answer question. So, I am going to show you the answer of these questions. Um, next question is question number 11. Name the household spinning instrument. The correct answer is Sharkha and Takhli. Next question is When was English education introduced? The correct answer is 1935. It was introduced in 1935. Next question is Who founded Arya Samaj and when? The correct answer is Swami Dayanan Saraswati found Arya Samaj and he found it in 1875. Question number 15 is, what do you mean by franchise? So franchise means the right to vote. It means the right to vote. When a person is given the right to vote, it means it's franchise. Next question is question number 16. When was the Indian constitution adopted? So it was adopted in 26th January 1950. 26th January 1950. Next question is, what is mentioned in Article 22 of the Constitution? The correct answer is that every person has a fundamental right to be defended by a lawyer. Each and every person, whether rich or poor, is has a right to be defended by a lawyer. A person who is poor and cannot find a lawyer, so the government provides him the lawyer for fighting his case. So in Article 2020, it is mentioned that every person has a right to uh, defend him in court. Question number 17 is complete. Question number 18 is, what is the full form of FIR? The full form of FIR is first information report. Question number 19 is, what are the water related diseases? The correct answer is, the correct answer is typhus, cholera, hepatitis A and dysentery. Next question is, question number 20, who sets the minimum wage? The correct answer is, the central government and the provincial government set the minimum wage. Next question is question number 21. Name any four social reformers in India. Some of the social reformers are Raja Ram Mohan Roy, Ishwar Chandra Vidya Sagar, Swami Dayanand Saraswati and Veera Sarangam Pantu Jyotira Phule. Next question is question number 22. Why are people considered a resource? The correct answer is people are considered a resource because with their demands and capabilities they can create new resources. Nature's boundaries become important only when people find it and make it useful for them. Next question is question number 23. Who was Bhagat Singh and what slogan did he raise? The correct answer is Bhagat Singh was a revolutionary nationalist. His slogan was in club Zindabad. What do you understand by the term marginalization? This is an internal source question. So there are two questions given here. We have to answer any one of these questions. 
First question is, what do you understand by the term marginalization? The correct answer of this question is that marginalization refers to a situation in which an individual or a group of individual is deprived of certain privileges or treated as different from others. The next question is, define the term minority. The correct answer is that a small group of people who are different race or religious to most of the people in the community or country where they live are called minority. Next question is, explain Article 15 of the Constitution. The correct answer is that Article 15 in the Constitution of Indian prohibi Prohibition um, uh, of Discrimination on Ground of Religion, Race, Caste, Sex or Place of Birth. The Next question is question number 26. What is the important characteristic of a public life? The correct answer that important characteristic of a public life is that one, it is provided its benefit can be shared by many people. Next question is, what is meant by the term industry? Which are the main factors which influence the location of an industry? The correct answer of this question is that industry refers to an economic activity that is concerned with the production of goods, extraction of minerals or provision of services. The location of industry is affected by the availability of raw material, land, water, labor, power, capital, transport and market. The next question is, on outline map of an India, locate the following. A. Dandi. B. Jallianwala Bagh. C. The state having the highest and lowest density of population. First is we have to look at Dandi. So, Dandi is located in Gujarat. Next is we have to look at Jallianwala Bagh. It is located in Punjab. This is Punjab. And next we have to find... Next, we have to find the city which highest population, uh, highest density of population. The correct answer is Arunachal Pradesh. And next is lowest density of population. It is present in Sikkim. Uh, we have completed the paper. If you like this video, please uh, give it a thumbs up. And uh, if there are other, if you have any friends, relatives who are preparing for class eight final exam, share this video with them. It might help them. And if you want the explained part of this video, um, then please tell me in the uh, comment section below. I will uh, upload a. Uh, com uh, completely uh, explain part of this video. Thank you. Uh, if you are new to the channel, please subscribe to the channel. Bye. Thank you very much for watching.